Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, whatever time it is in your neck of the woods. This is Tony, and welcome to today's video. So today we're going to be playing with the Frozen Dagon in Ardent Spears. We have Nuclear Amp, Immune Amp, Last Stand, and Phase Shift. We're using the Pascal Drone, and we have the good old Auto Schreier Pilot. We're using Energy Shields Expert, Master Gunsmith, Crazy Electrician, Dodger, Armor Expert, Stubborn Warrior, and Roadhog along with the Avalon Mothership. We also have a brand new giveaway going on for Inferno Weapons. All you need to do is like, comment, subscribe, turn on the bell icon and select all in the comment section. Put your pilot ID, platform, and hashtag WR win Inferno from now until the 28th. Good luck to everybody. Also, we have the other big giveaway going on. 200 items, 100 bedwear, 100 Inferno. I'll put the instructions on the screen for that as well. Without further ado, let's get right to this gameplay so we can see this bad Mamma Jamma tear it up on the battlefield. All right, guys, dropping in. This time we're going to be on Shenzhen Daytime. Going over here, grabbing our home. See if we can get this party started. Trying to get some ranges on people to see what their distance is. We're going to pop out and start lighting them up. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, wow. Right off the bat, doing some really good damage. We're not even charged up yet. Doing some really good damage. Very, very hopeful for this build. I've been wanting to try this for quite some time. Never got around to it. And today is the day. And I'm really excited for this, man. Spears used to be a ton of fun. And I really feel like... Oh, nice. All right. I really feel like um, this reminds me of the old days in the Spear Kepri. Uh, prior to the nerf because now we have six weapons instead of four so it's like it's making up for that damage loss from that nerf all right cruising around Ooh, very nice double kill look at that triple kill we are roasting them and toasting them up so when you want when you play this build i highly 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 recommend for you guys to alternate your shots as you guys can see i'm alternating them right now it's much easier to do on mouse and keyboard. I'm playing on touchscreen right now. And all you need to do is click around the wheel each individual weapon and then hold down the center of that wheel. And the, the same sequence will continue to fire the same way you pressed it. Look at that. We are on a Beyond Godlike streak already, guys. Holy cow. There we go. Living legend, even though he was in stealth. Look at this Curie. Lighten this Curie up. We got to go into phase shift. This is going to be trouble, guys. We had to go into phase shift to preserve our life right there. We didn't want to go down. Here we go. Taking him down as well. Living legend. Can we get him as well? Oh, my gosh. The legend continues. There we go. Taking out that carry. Now we're cooking with grease. We got this thing charged up, and we are freaking unloading on these guys. <laughs> oh, my God. This thing is freaking awesome. Holy cow. Holy cow. Okay, you see right there? After I went into phase shift, I forgot to start re-engaging and alternating my shots, so I was shooting them all at once, and that's why I was having trouble getting through his shield. I'm back alternating my shots again, as you can see on screen, and things are going down much, much quicker. Uh-oh, we got Titans in. Ooh, look at that. We got a Ming in the air. Let's go focus on the Ming, because the Rook's going to be too hard to try to break through his physical shield. There we go. The legend continues, baby. All right. This Rook is trying to focus on me, and he got stuck up on that building. Let's see if he could focus up on this Ming right here. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. He's trying to get behind cover. We're putting ourselves in grave danger right now, trying to hunt this Ming down. Oh, ho, 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 ho. very nice. That Rook is laying into us right now. We need to be super careful. This Ophion's going into flight. See, that Rook keeps trying to come after me once again. He's got it out for me, man. He has really got it out for me right now. All right, let's pop around the corner, start alternating some shots. Can we take this down? Boom, the living legend streak continues, baby. All right, let's see if we can get this Ophion before he gets into flight. Oh, no, he's starting to go into flight. We are surrounded by a bunch of Titans and a flying Ophion right now. We are in a bad, bad predicament, folks. We may not make it out of here. Oh, we get taken down. But, dude, amazing first run with this freaking Dagon, dude. Holy cow. All right, let's get the June Bug in there. Let's feed the June Bug. The June Bug wants some action. He got jealous, man. He's like, you can't have fun with that Dagon and, and not bring me out on the battlefield with all these Titans. This is the original OG, number one, first ever Titan slaying robot. He wants some Titan slaying action. Let's see if we can feed the beast right now. Uh-oh, uh-oh. There is a lot going on in this parking lot side. There's a whole lot going on. Blasting through. 
Oh man. Oh man. No bueno, no bueno, no bueno. No bueno, no bueno, no bueno. See, the Indra is tricky because it goes into its ability a lot. That phased ability. So you're not able to get consistent damage on him with this out June. You end up wasting um, valuable seconds of your ability. Ideally, you want to try to get all of the flames from your ability to land to do the maximum amount of damage just like that and to get the maximum amount of bomb effects to go off the ultimate aljun has the bomb effect built in its flaming ability which is amazing and it definitely brings it up to the current era and allows it to compete in the new meta right now so really really fun stuff all right there is our first game holy cow all right let's take a look at the scoreboard man that was a good game wow 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 very very fun all right, 17 kills, three beacons. You love to see it, guys. You love, love, love to see it. All right, this time we're dropping into Moon Map, another beautiful small map. Love the small maps. Love the brawling maps. That's 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 my jam, man. That is my jam. All right, trying to thread the needle on that dude over there. So the hard thing is, once I start pressing, so keep in mind, I'm on touch screen, right? So once I touch all my weapons in sequence to get them firing in a sequence, now I have to hold my finger down so I can no longer press that bottom button to change targets. So I kind of just have to swing my crosshairs around and hopefully it lands on the target I want. So this is where like PC players have a large, large advantage. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that guy's so tanky, dude. What in the world? All right, we gotta be super cautious, man. You don't want to get taken out really quickly in this robot. You want to get your nuke amps charged up, get your immune amp charged up, and all that good stuff. And um, you could even throw a repair amp on there too and put the shy drone so you have a last stand. That's another good option as well. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. First kill. You love to see it starting this baby off. I'm trying to get this curie, man. Curies are super lethal, especially with those rust weapons. Subduer, super, super lethal. He's trying to get out of our range. He knows we're doing big damage on him. All right, here we go. Chasing this guy down, walking him down. All right, let's try to focus on this cure before he gets his next ability. There we go, triple kill. You want to seize the opportunity, guys. When a Curie's ability ends, you want to try to put as maximum amount of damage into him as possible because as soon as he gets his next ability charge, he's going to get a big healing pulse as well. So you got to always be remembering that when fighting a Curie. And especially if he has phase shift, it makes it even trickier because now he has four seconds to go in phase shift, which makes the time that he's vulnerable to getting attacked even smaller in between his ability timings. All right, we've got our godlike streak rolling. Let's see if we can finish this Ravanya off. He's going, I think this is going to be his last transcendence. Yes, it is. Beautiful. Beyond godlike. All right, let's see who is where and what are they up to. All right, let's try to get this Ophion as he's landing. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Nice living legend. All right, we got some guy flying up there, laying into us. We're going to try to go through the bottom there and shoot that guy at the other end. Okay, now that he landed, I want to try to focus on him because he was actually shield breaking us, doing a lot of damage. Uh oh, we got a jumper. We got a jumper, folks. Let's try to focus on this Minos a little bit. And let's try to go after this bot so he doesn't get another jump. There we go. Living Legend continues. Okay, beautiful. All right, we got an Indra, a Minos, and a Luchador. This is no bueno. No, no bueno. Good thing I had my last stand, so they preserved our life a little bit. Let's see if we can take this Minos down, man. He's getting really, really low. Really, really low. Here we go. Oh, man, we got the assist. Someone, someone team worked us, man. Someone team worked us there. All right. We're going to go into phase shift. Uh, because we're in a bad predicament, actually. Oh, my gosh. So close. So close to getting that Ophion down. He was able to get his flight. We're trying to back on up. We got 157 HP underneath that Aegis Shield of ours. Come on, baby. Can we get this Ophion? Yes, we get the Ophion. <laughs> All right. Let's drop this sucker in. This is a video that I'm going to be doing very soon. This is the Corrosion Eiffel. We have Basilisk Crate on here. I did some testing in custom matches and had really promising results so let's see what this can do on the live action server with live players so you could test all you want under the perfect situation but in game things tend to happen a little bit different of a way 
Oh, man, he's got that physical shield in the front. That's why he's not taking any corrosion. Yup. All right. Unfortunately, we're on reload, but we had to take that flight to get it some HP and uh, allow us to survive. Now that this reload's ending, let's try to light this Heimdall up. There we go. He's taking good damage now. That physical shield has been cracked and compromised. Boom! Titan Slayer, baby. That's what I'm talking about. All right, we are on reload. We got seven seconds. So I'm going to wait to take my flight because I'm only going to have two weapons if I fly now. Here we go. Here we go. Reloaded. Ready to rock. All right, lighting this luchador up. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. He's got the flambés as well right there, too. He did some decent damage on us. Unfortunately, he had two triggerings of his mothership, dude. And he got lifesaver twice, stealth twice. That's crazy in such a, such a short period of time. So we actually weren't able to do as much damage on him as we could have. All right, there we go. Oh, man. Yup, and it looks like same deal, man. Once repair amps get charged up, you're just not doing effective enough effective damage onto these guys. His repair amps are definitely charged right now, for sure. All right, we got that Demeter out of there. We're going to keep peppering this guy up. But it... Seriously, look at it. Look at his H, his HP bar. It, it's not even moving. All right, let's do a dash. Get out of the way of his flambés. Go into flight. All right, let's see what we could do here now. All weapons bl blasting into him. All weapons. Look at this, dude. Oh my gosh. Oh man. Yeah, not not as effective of amount of damage as I was hoping there. And the no bad thing that I noticed with those weapons is the reload sequence. Um, it does not pair well with the timing of the ability and cooldowns. So half the time you take a flight, you're not going to have much ammo. You're going to run out of your um, in-flight weapons ammo very quickly because there just isn't enough time in the sky to unload it all. All right, it looks like this match is going to be over pretty soon. They got two bots left, but they don't have any beacons right now. Let's go into flight, see if you take this Dagon out. Yeah, I wonder if he has a Fortifier because his uh, Aegis is, is getting replenished very quickly. Very, very quickly. It's a really strong Aegis he has on there. Had this been flames, he would have been evaporated in the, the blink of an eye. But I just want to try out some different stuff, man. I'm just experimenting. You know, I, lo I love experimenting with off-meta, non-meta stuff. It's a ton of fun, especially when you could find a setup that's super effective, like the uh, the Zappies on the Amugi. Like, who would have known that would have turned out to have been as great as it is? All right, guys, this is going to be our third and final match. Dropping on over here, grabbing our home beacon. Then I think we're just going to cruise up this left side and see what type of trouble we can get into. If there's somebody close and center, we may go that way. And if there's not, we may just push straight home to their home beacon. We shall see. We're getting peppered up by some homing rockets from a distance. There we go. There we go. Good damage on him. Taking him down quick. Get the kill. Peppering him up as well. Double kill. All right, can we get that triple kill real quick? Come on, baby. Yes, baby. Yes, yes, yes. Let's keep going this way. We're getting some nice kills over here. I want to try to get this crisis. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Beautiful. Is anyone going to drop here? Is anyone dropping? Is anyone dropping? No. Nope. All right, so we have the whole left side of the map, which is nice. If we could just keep them to center in that flank side beacon, um, that would be really nice. But let's see. Let's move up. Let's see if we can cap this center. Uh-oh. 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 Yes, Beyond God. Like, dude, we're cooking with grease, man. So quick. Three games in a row, man. We did a really great job with these. Um, I didn't cherry pick the best footage. I just played three games in a row. And this is what we got, man, so far. Very nice. Very, very nice. All right. Let's see if we can... Mm -mm. Nope. He goes into flight. All right. Let's target this dude. He's trying to go for his home beacon. Oh, man. Living legend. All right, let's get this guy's last stand triggered. Very nice. Do a little shaking groove side to side. Get up in his face. Oh, no, the death survivor. He got his death survivor. He was able to get another flight in there. 
All right, who is where? Who is where and what exactly are they up to right now? That's the question. That is the question. We got a couple guys on top. We got a couple guys over on that side. Everyone's spread out. Nobody's in close proximity. I bet you this living legend streak, we're going to lose it. Oh, man, that, that stinks. All right, popping out of cover. Lighting him up. Nice. Come on, baby. Get that last stand. Beautiful. Switching targets. Can we take him out? Yes. Oh, we got the kill. But the living legend streak is over. No, it took too long. <laughs> yeah, but super fun, effective build, man. I actually may put this on my personal account. I'm actually debating it. I have I have a I have a Dagon. I don't have a frozen Dagon leveled up. And I also have the Ardent Spears. They're all MK2 level 12. They're not MK3. Because that would take 12 MK3 tokens to MK3 6 weapons. And I, I, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to leave them at MK2 12. I think that is more than good enough. Alright, let's see if we can focus this Titan down. Uh oh, we got two other guys on us too. Alright, so there's a Sirius, there's a regular robot, and then there's an Eiffel Titan. Super, super dangerous right now. Ooh, we're getting good damage on that Sirius. All right, let's see if we can take this regular bot out or that serious first. Oh, man. A Newton lifted him up. Let's take advantage of that. Beautiful. We get the Titan Slayer. All right, we're getting bendied up right now. Bendies are really bad for your health when you're a Dagon. Unless you're running, like, fortifiers and stuff. If you have fortifiers and stuff on, he's probably not going to be able to break through your Aegis at all. But that's not the type of build I'm running, so we have to just deal with it. Oh man, I wanted to see what the uh, what the corrosion rifle can do to him. Let's take a look at the scoreboard, guys, and also good luck on the new giveaway, the Inferno giveaway. Eleven kills, four beacons. You love to see it. Appreciate you guys so much. Hope everybody has a great day and keep coming back.